Hello there lads and lassies, welcome to A Candle to the Unknown. This is a horror game that is available on uh, Game Jolt. You'll see that shield there, I'm so used to saying that now. And um, yeah, so we're going to put it in uh, UK language there, English. And uh, yeah, so it looked interesting. Um, so I thought, why not give it a shot? Let's see what it's like. So let's start this game up. And we're going to go for chapter one. Chapter two seems to be all locked up. So chapter one, a proof, a proof of faith. Um, this won't be a full playthrough if it is a full game. This will just be checking out, see what it's like. Um, but yeah, it looks so cool. If you want to check it out for yourselves, check the link in the description below. Um, if you can't see the link, just click show more. Prima enum es gloria. Okay. Lumine mani in profundo. We're going for Latin today, are we? Learning through video games. Excitate vos e sumo. Learning through video games. Fun for the whole family. Fac nobis service twist. Knock, knock, knock. Okay. Who's there? Let's go and have a look and see who's at the door. It's gonna be someone. That's strange. The brothers must be at Compline. Anyway, I don't intend to open the door. You continue prayer. Let's look into the room. I will continue with the ritual later. Okay, let's see. In the drawer, I keep a few belongings I have. Can we open it? No, I can't. We've got an old crucifix adorns a cold wall. Okay, well, it's my humble bed. I'm not tired right now. Outside, the splendid moonlight illuminates the night. Can I touch the moon? No. We've got something here. Someone just left a paper under the door. Let's grab it. Pick it up. Okay. Let's see what this paper says. Okay, let's take a look at it. Prima enum est gloria lumine. Oh, basically, it's just what we've been seeing. Okay. Not going to open yet. Can open my drawer. See if there's anything worth getting in there. Might be something. And so to keep three matches and a key to my cell. Okay. So I've got three matches and a key to my cell. So let's uh, use the key on the door. I don't want to open the door yet. What's that? There's a crack. The mice hideaway has been in the cell since I lived here. I'm not tired right now. It's not bad. I'm looking at the stool. Candle offers a pleasant light. Can we touch the candle? Can we look at the, the matches? Okay. Okay, it's three matches. Oh, okay. Um, we can light the candle we've got here. Okay, well that candle's not lit, so let's uh Okay. Right, okay, so the candle offers a present light. I'll take the candle. I can't take the candle, can I? No, I can't take the candle. Go use this and then have a look at some of the stuff we've got here. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing now, so Let's uh, look at the key. Nothing to do with the key. Okay, let's examine the key. It's a key to my cell. Let's examine the matches. These are matches I use to light the candle every night. Uh, these are the prayers I was reciting. How strange, I had this paper hidden behind a crucifix. So maybe if I put it back... Okay. Looks like a silhouette of a person. Yeah, can we, can we do anything about that? I think my eyesight is tired. Uh, maybe we should go to bed. My humble bed. Nope, can't go to bed yet. Let's uh, keep trying. Um, hmm. This uh, time has not yet come. Maybe we should walk towards the silhouette and see what's happening with it. Matches. No. Recite the prayer. Can't use the prayer on it. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing here. Or it's taking everything. Can I take the bed? No, I can't take the bed. Can I take the crucifix? Oh! That's what I'm meant to do. Okay, that's cool. So what was that? The crucifix has fallen. It's been thrown to the floor. 
looks as if there's something written in blood. Alright, let's check it out. That's an owl there. I should take it to see better. Okay. Shivers run through my body. Right, let's uh, light the candle again. There we go. Perfect. With a thousand eyes, I will be your guide. When they watch you from above, the false god can be burned. Fair, fair enough. Okay. Let's uh, look at this crucifix here. Don't know what it says. Um, let's examine it here. There we go. Something inscribed on the cross. Prove your faith. This gaze is unsettling. Can we leave now? I don't want to open the door yet. What's on the wall there? It looks as if there's another object inside the hole. Let's take it. What have we got here? It seems like it's got a whole bunch of eyes on it. What is this amulet? It seems to represent a creature with many eyes. We do anything over here? I'm not tired right now. Okay. Alright, we're gonna leave now. Not yet. Why not yet? What am I meant to do? Am I meant to put the crucifix back up or something? Can I, can I, can I use the crucifix on the crow or the bird or the owl or whatever the hell it is? Come on, where are you going, buddy? Apparently I have to burn this cross. That's as far as it's all. The fire will erase every impure trace. And down it goes. And it appears to have turned into a pile of ashes. Let's check this out. It's a crown of dry thorn, similar to the one that was placed on the head of Jesus Christ to mock him. Okay. Seriously, we're going to put that on? I can only serve him. Alright, can we leave now? I locked it. Okay, let's unlock it. <laughs> the music is just totally not going with... <gasps> Excuse me, the music is just not totally not going with, the, with the, the sort of aesthetic of the game. It's like way more intense than you would expect. Let's head out here. Let's see what's going on. Mortis et vivit. So where are we off to now? We're off in some sort of a strange little journey. Nice effects, by the way. And when he descends from the stars, he will open his mind of our all sanity. Then he will spread his nightmarish wings and cover the world with his shadow. Cthulhu. Yep. This is a Cthulhu cult, isn't it? Alright. That is insane music. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Mm-hmm. Going into the sky. To the stars above. An hour before. An hour before that monk went mad. Mad and drunk with power and crowns of thorns and many eyes blinking in the moonlight. And basically the music from Stranger Things. Okay. We're cool with that. So who's this young fella? With the nifty eyebrows. Oh, there's his eyes. I can't tell. I, I think it's I No, that's his eyes. Okay. I thought it was his eyebrows. But high up for eyes, really, isn't it? So something's happened in his past and he's very upset. Oh, his mother. Okay. Mother. What's going to happen now? So we're off on a, a journey with a strange horse. It's actually rather well animated, I will say that. For... You know, for a, like a sort of a... Look at those little dancing feet. You know, for a pixel game, it's very... It's very cool, actually. 
Wait, I'm swearing. The music does it justice. It does. Hmm. Right. What's happening now? Is that it? Oh, was that? That was it. Oh, let's let's check out extras. An uncertain journey. Back to menu. Oh, could we maybe open up the next part? Because that was kind of short. We can. We can open up the next part. We'll check out dark secrets first, um, and then we'll stop. In one of the hallways of the Abbey, dark secrets. Okay. Right now, the brothers are going to complain, which tonight is celebrated to honour the memory of the late brother Thomas. I wonder if brother Thomas is, is up with who we were. The Abbot has asked me to investigate a book that's in his private library, so he will justify my absence by telling the congregation that I'm sick. Sick as a dog. Yes. Okay. I must hurry and find out everything what I can while the mass lasts. No one must see me. Okay. So let's uh, go for a wander here. If no one must see him, does that? I must not be distracted. Okay. This is if there's a light on in that room. Okay. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Okay. Will Wilhelm have missed the night prayer? I don't know. Let's leave him to it, though. Candlelight is tenuous. This candlelight is what helps us. So we've not been seen yet, so let's... Uh, seems as if someone has knocked at a door. It's very weird. I don't see anyone in the hallway. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter one slight tiny little bit. So we're heading downstairs now. Yes. I must find the Umbra Kabbalah. Where might it be? The lamps are connected to a gas system. We turn it on. There we go. So we're looking for a book. Let's see what we can find here. Uh oh! Ooh, the dark shadows are coming! <gasps> That's the door! That's the door from chapter one! Okay. Not to get. Let's see, what have we got here? The tomes of these shells are extremely rare. The ones to talk about entities belong to diverse cultures and beliefs. Hmm, essentially a peculiar book. Book says, let's have a look. Because it's entitled Entities from Other Worlds. Little drawings and descriptions of creatures I've never seen even in my worst nightmares. Some of them catch my attention, especially. Wonder which ones. Let's see what we've we got here. Many books of translation. I don't need any of them right now. Okay, someone's gonna turn that light out, aren't they? Biographies to people who were persecuted by the church. I suspect that other books deal with various methods of torture used by the Inquisition. Let's see what we have. Desk with several writing utensils. What if we going to start writing our own biography? What is that down there? Just be something under the bookshelf. Yeah, I saw that. Let's go and pick it up. Let's see what that is. Liber Heretics. Okay. Books of heretics. What is this? Let's see what we've got here. Why would anyone hide a hammer in there? Because maybe they didn't hide it, maybe they dropped it and forgot about it. I'm kind of curious about that one myself, actually. I wonder if that owl's going to appear again. I think the book of which Abbot spoke can be found here. Let's have a look and see. What kind of book is it? Here is it. Okay, let's have a look at the book. Abbot said it's a really peculiar lock. I think overestimated my qualities. I don't understand the drawing runes or the locking mechanism. Umbra Kabbala. The book is quite heavy. I should place it on the desk to observe it better. Alright, let's do that. Let's take a look at it. To focus on the book. Right, let's see. So, that's the symbol there. 
what do we do with it? Seems that's not the correct combination. Hmm. Maybe they're all to be like that? Who knows? Let's see. No. So there must be another book somewhere with a combination in it. Right, let's have a look at this book again. Okay, um, let's have a look at this hammer. Script is slightly damaged. I'm going to go and I'm going to see if I can find another book, maybe to give us a hint on how to open it. Because there was one we didn't actually look at. Which is this one here. Right, what do we have here? Shelves are filled with books by authors persecuted by the torch. Marquis de Sard, sorry, uh, George Sand. What's this key? It's key to the bad's private library. He's entrusted to me. Okay, key to my room. Can we use that on anything? Hmm. Let's head back. I've still got things to do here. Right, so we're, we're still here. So we maybe need to check the shelves again. I have to find a book to help me translate the runes. Ah, see, I didn't. I knew we had to look for uh, engraved runes similar to those in the Umbra Kabbalah. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's see what this does. Each book seems to be devoted to the translation of a strange runic language. Okay, so maybe if we drag it on top of the book. Hmm. Put it next to the book. Let's uh, click on the book again. No. Um. Ah, here we go. Umbra Kabbalah. Umbra Kabbalah. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Maybe it's to open, open something. Okay, so, having looked this up, there's something over here that I didn't notice before. Someone has hit this wall, so we have a hammer. I hope the abbot will forgive me for this. But it may be my only chance to discover how many other dark secrets are kept in this library. Perfect. The hammer has become useless. Let's head through here. Ah, oh, there's runes in the wall. This room was undoubtedly abandoned a long time ago. Spiders have used the cracks to nest. Those are human bones. The runes drawn in the wall. I should be able to translate them with the hell of the book I found. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Okay, um, the first one is... Affirmation. Hang on, what if I do this instead? No, gotta do it that way. So the first one is Affirmation. Affirmation followed by... Wow, this is going to be complicated. Affirmation, Negation. No, it's not Negation. Affirmation... Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Ritual Invocation. So it's affirmation, ritual, invocation. There's that weird one with all the dots. Dots, 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 dots. Which one was it? Is it that one? Yeah. Universe, stars, and planets. Followed by... Yeah, followed by the weird key-looking one. Okay, one that looks like a key, slightly. It's not that one. Which one is it? Is it that one? Negation, possibly? No, it's not negation. It's two down with a dot at the bottom. Alright, two down with a dot at the bottom. Two down, two down, two down, two down with a dot at the bottom. Where are you? There. Power, submit, dominate. Uh, followed by the sword one. Um uh, Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, negation and then power submit and dominate again. Okay, what is that hole? Let's go and have a look. So they were trying to summon something at least. I think this is like a cult of Cthulhu. It's very strange, the lower floor cannot be glimpsed. As if there's an infinite void. Is there something now? Yeah. Okay, um, can we pick this up? So I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. It's about something. It's definitely a clue. Cowboys are huge. What kind of insects were they catching their webs? Okay. So, there's a piece of paper under the bones. So let's pick up this piece of paper and see what it does. I'm actually getting to the stage now where I think I'm not really going to find out what's going on, but let's check out the paper and stuff and see what it says. I read these lines with last strings to keep. I know I'll never see the sunlight again. My name is Bernie Hyder. I've devoted my entire life to the study of what is unknown to man and neither philosophy nor science explains. Because of my boldness, I have ended up locked up in this dark enclosure for a while. It seemed liberating to me, but now it just makes me feel like a complete... It makes me feel a complete emptiness. In the beginning, I spent all my time performing the rituals that I had memorized, seeking to connect more deeply with those entities which had previously appeared before me. However, my attempts were in vain. I even doubted their existence, but no. The runes that appeared inscribed on the wall removed my doubts. Although they were involved a painful warning and last effort to get their attention, I was able to break with reality and open a portal. But this is also uncertain because its journey leads nowhere and now it is exposed in front of me, unleashing its existence and unspeakable terror and sorrow. If someone finds this note and by then nothing as much has changed in the Abbey, the books I wrote and illustrated revealing my discovery should remain in the library. The most important of them is the Umbra Kabbalah because inside it contains a strange amulet I found in my last travels. Its opening is res reserved for those who are able to decipher the code of its locking mechanism. For this reason I leave with the words the key uh, the key that can help the initiates to expand their knowledge. I only cherish one hope, the day when arrives, when arrive. Okay, seems the letter's unfinished, there's a picture next to it. Alright, let's check out the picture. Okay, there's a hand holding an amulet towards a star. Well, that's interesting. I think this is where we're going to leave this for just now and if you guys know what's happening with it or whatever just let me know in the comments below that's something i might play for myself and if you can complete it fantastic but anyway link in the description below is to where you can find this game it might not be for everyone it may be a bit slow for some folk but you know it's atmospheric it's good it's but cthulhu everyone loves cthulhu you know that should be a tv show you know, like everybody loves raymond it's just everybody loves cthulhu anyway thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time but until then Oh boy.